the truth about female nature. Get your popcorn ready, get your chips, get your drink, whatever you, whatever it is, man. We finna dive in uh, deep into this. She don't like the nice nigga, bro. You're doing everything right. We're treating her with respect. Buying her flowers. Giving her gifts. Taking her on dates. Sending hella good morning texts. Where are you getting? Nothing. They show the truth about female nature in movies, bro. Y'all ever see like them high school movies? Like, let's say, like, I'm trying to think of a perfect example. Something like Karate Kid, bro. The original one. When the girl is always with the bad boy. The high school bully. The, the, the classical stereotype, the, the nigga in the black leather jacket. The bad boy. That's what they like because they get the thrill out of the bad boy. And they want to try to tame the bad boy. But it's a challenge that they can't. They get a thrill because they can't tame the bad boy. He don't want to be tamed. He don't want to be tamed. And the woman is trying everything in her power to get him to, to, tame, to, to tame him. And what happens if he does tame, she does tame him? She leave him. Job done, next day gonna finish try to tame him too. The moment you be soft with women, bro, that repels them ill. Uh-uh. That, 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 I don't like that. Uh-uh. He, he acting feminine. In a way, it's really not their fault because we should be masculine anyway. It shouldn't take for a woman to not like us for us to want to be masculine. But in reality, that, that's just the way it takes. After you get rejected so many times, after you did, did everything that society told you to do in this blue, blue pill world we live in, marriage, that's a scheme. That's propaganda. Religion, that's propaganda. And all propaganda is, is to get you to follow what the government wants you to follow. Work a job for 40 some years. By the time you retire, you finna die. And all of a sudden, you can get a retirement check. And by the time you use half of that, you finna die. What the fuck does it look like? What, what sense does that make to work a job all these years and you're being told when you can go on break, when you can go to the bathroom, when you can take a vacation, when you can call off? But if I was born in this world by myself, who the fuck are you to tell me what I can't do in my life? That's why I say jobs are a scheme. And that's why I highly advise y'all to use y'all talents to make money. Monetize whatever it is that you're good at. If you want to be a carpenter, a lawyer, if you want to work in the stock market, if you're good with numbers, if you want to be an engineer, a mechanic, open your own business. So you mean to tell me we got to go to college? I know I, I know I got a little bit off subject, but we just go. It, it, the Blue Pill Society, everything ties in together from females to the government to 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 everything like that, dealing with what the Blue Pill world wants us to believe. I got to go to college to take out a loan. So I won't be in debt, but the loan I took out for is for me to pay the debt back. You, you help me make that make sense. The, the purpose of me going to school is so I can not be in debt in life. So I can have financial freedom. But in the midst of me not wanting to do that with my life, I had to. It, while I'm trying not to do that, I'm, I'm doing that. On the way so I can work the job. I, the, the thing about college, people get these degrees and don't even go into the profession that they went to school for. You tell me if that if, if that's controlling or not, if that's a scheme or not. From birth, we set up to lose. So let's hop back on the female thing. And we finna get into that. From birth, we taught to respect the woman, be kind, 
Don't be an asshole. Don't don't call her. Um, don't don't be mean to her. Call her pretty. Take her on dates. Show her you love her. Give her attention. Give her time. Validate her. Put her on a pedestal. But have you ever heard a woman tell their daughter, treat him like a king. Do right by him. Be loyal to him. Make sure he's happy. No, it's always happy wife, happy life. And from birth, we've been to be Mr. Here you go, honey. And you, you can have everything that I have to offer. And the whole time she's draining you, she's like Jacqueline. <laughs> draining, draining your energy. Pause while I did that. But you, you know what I mean. She Jacqueline. She's sucking your energy dry. You looking like SpongeBob when you have no water. 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 But in this case, it's my life. My life. My life. My life. She's sucking the life out of you, bro. And what I mean by life, she's taking your car, your house, everything that you have. Don't. Y'all get divorced. It's a wrap. Done with. Done deal. That's why I don't promote marriage, bro. I'm never getting married. Ever. Why would I get married? Bro, literally think about this. These couples be in relationships for a long time. And some marriages may work. But me personally, I'm not taking that chance. I'm sorry. I, I don't care what nobody say. I'm just not doing that. You can have your own opinion on it. Me personally, no. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. But what it look like for what it look like for me to basically shake up the dice and gamble. Okay, I hope this marriage worked for a long time. We we stay together forever. Throw the dice out there. Years go by. Marriage marriage don't work out. So all these years I was with you, my time has been wasted. When I when I couldn't be living a, a a life of abundance, I apologize about the um, about the chair squeaking, y'all. I'm gonna get a new one soon. But all these years wasted when I could have been living a life of abundance, having fun. And now when I'm there in the fifty or sixty something, you won't get a divorce. Now you're taking my car. That's why I highly suggest um so um advise y'all for a prenup. If you want to get married. I don't recommend it, but, you know, y'all do what y'all want to do. I'm just giving y'all info and advice on what not to do. But at the end of the day, y'all your own man or y'all your own woman. Woman, if y'all listen to this and y'all like what I'm saying, I don't care. I'm still going to speak it. But, yeah, bro, don't, don't get married. She took your house, your car, shit, damn it, fuck it, your dog. Everything you have as a man is you have nothing to show for it now. Because you believe this blue pill propaganda of happy wife, happy life. Something, something should tell y'all right then. The government is going to get what they want out of you in any shape or form. Why in the fuck do you have to have a certificate for somebody that you love? That makes zero logical sense to me. You have to have a marriage certificate. The government want to keep up with everything you do. From birth, you got to have a, 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 a certificate of you being born. And you even, even in death, you're not even around to give the paper to the government or do anything with it. Whoever is close to you, they have to have a death certificate for you. That right there alone should, be, should tell y'all this is all... Slave and controlling control over us. But that's a different video topic. We finna go back to the females. Bro. My bad, y'all just pissed something out. They don't like the nice guy, bro. I don't care what they tell y'all. Because these women will get in, in a relationship with a dude that's doing her bad, and she would complain about the nigga, and you being that, that I'm, I'm gonna listen to ear, you can tell me everything, baby, I'm gonna be here for you, lay your head on my shoulder, bro, 
You look dumb. You look <laughs> goofy. Because she go complain about him and still go back to him. And she know that you the man that can treat her with every aspect of kindness, respect, love, affection, everything she says she wants. But yet she don't give you the chance. Why is that? Because she don't like it. If she liked it, she would get with the man that's like that. And if you ask a, ask a woman, well, if you like this type of man, why don't you get with him? They'll never have a clear answer, bro. I promise you. Go out and ask a woman right, that right now. Why you like the bad boy? I don't know. Well, it, it, when there's a guy that likes you and gives, gives you what you want, why don't you give him a chance? I don't know. When in reality, it get my pussy dry. I'm not attracted to that. But she can't tell you that. She got to keep, keep leading you on and put on this front guy. That's what they want and they don't. If what I say don't make sense to y'all, go out and try it for yourself. Please go out and try it for yourself. Do everything right. Do what the church and your friends and, and your mom and your dad told you to do. And watch your heart get broken. I'm not speaking from a place of anger or hurt. I'm speaking from a place of experience. I'd have been through it plenty of times. So I'm not just on here telling y'all something I never experienced. Other men go through this on a daily basis. And men are committing suicide behind women. They're dead and she's still going on to the next man doing the same thing to him. So what the fuck I look like killing myself over a girl that's Go move on with her life and hop to the net to the next dick. My life, oh my life over with. Hers is still living, and the game is still being continued. This shit crazy, man. Love y'all. Stay ambitious. Stay determined. Stay driven. Stay powerful. Stay courageous. Till the next video.